Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about that is uh, the chemical properties of the alkyl hair and in that case we have did uh, most of the chemical uh, reactions and uh, we have got to know that is most of the chemical reactions that they exhibit the nucleophilic substitution reaction and uh, that is uh, only a few one that shows that is coupling reaction or that shows that is elimination reaction. And now we are going to talk about that is what is actually nucleophilic substitution reaction and uh, let us understand the definition of it and let us understand the types of the nucleophilic substitution reaction for alkyl halides. So now let us understand the definition of it first. So I got to do the definition that is the reaction in which an atom or group of atom is replaced by a nucleophile is known as nucleophilic substitution reaction. For example, let me talk about uh, this kind of reaction, how the reaction takes place because we are talking about that is uh, uh, alkyl halides. So that is the reason that uh, the alkyl halides they are uh, very much responsible to give uh, uh, that is substitution reaction. So suppose if I consider the example where suppose Rx is being treated with that of a nucleophile. And what is a nucleophile? Let me talk about that also. That is, nucleophiles are basically the electron rich species, and uh, that is the reason that uh, uh, in this case only, that is, if we observe that is Rx. So, in this case, basically, the halogen groups or the halogen atoms they are very, uh, very uh, uh, more electronegative compared to that of the carbon through which they are been attached, and that's the reason that uh, one of the uh, negative group is now replaced by the more negative group or any a, a nucleophile that is been attached over here. So, if you observe that is Rx, then in that case, we will get to know that is uh, halogen atoms are more electronegative, and that's the reason that uh, the nucleophile, which is also uh, electronegative, that would be replaced uh, by this uh, nucleophile that is x would be replaced by this nucleophile and this kind of reaction is basically known as nucleophilic substitution reaction and the product that we could get is basically ry plus x minus so this is what we have and now let me talk about that is what is nucleophile So therefore, the nucleophile can be defined as that is the uh, nucleophile is an electron rich species that have affinity towards positively charged center. So let me elaborate this nucleophile. So the name itself suggests nucleophile means in this case the nucleophile means positively charged species and phile means the affinity or the attraction towards positively charged species. So basically we could say that nucleophile is itself a negatively charged species and that has more affinity towards the positively charged species so therefore there are various kind of nucleophile that i'm going to talk about that is uh, for, for first example that is the uh, halide that is x minus hydroxyl group that is oh minus cn minus etc so therefore these are the few of the examples that i've mentioned over here as a nucleophile so since we are talking about the nucleophilic substitution, that's the reason that uh, this groups uh, would be able to replace uh, that is the other uh, that is uh, nucleophile. So that is the reason that it is basically it is called as a nucleophilic substitution. Or moreover, we could say that this uh, uh, nucleophiles are basically responsible to attack or to uh, involve in a substitution reaction that could attack the positively charged species or positively charged center. In this case, because we are talking about alkyl halide, so therefore, that is the reason that whenever we react, that is, uh, suppose if you are talking about this reaction, we will get to know that is uh, the bromine which is more electronegative, that is the reason that uh, I am mentioning it over here as partially negative charge, while the carbon it will act like a partial positive charge. And suppose, and anyhow, suppose if I am reacting it with that of the OH minus ion, which is basically acting as a nucleophile. So that's the reason that this Br, it would be replaced with that of the OH minus ion and this OH minus ion will have an ability to, that is to attack the positively charged center and that's the reason that we could get, that is CH3OH and plus Br minus. And now this Br minus has been substituted with the help of this OH minus ion. So therefore this is the kind of example that I have mentioned over here and this is what the nucleophilic substitution reaction is. But the nucleophilic substitution reaction is been divided into two parts and that's the reason that in the future lecture we are going to talk about the mechanism of the 
uh, types of the nuclear flake substitution reaction. But for that, let me give you a glimpse about that how many types of nuclear flake substitution reaction there are that we are going to study in this chapter. So there are basically two types, two main types of nuclear flake substitution reaction. So talking about the first one, that is the first one is that is unimolecular nuclear flake substitution reaction, or basically it can be denoted as that is. SN1 that is nuclear flake substitution uh, unimolecular reaction even that is uh, it has been called. So what is uh, this reaction and uh, what does the unimolecular stands for? So this unimolecular stands for actually it is it stands for the first order reaction yes because uh, in the substitution reaction we know that is uh, one of the one of the uh, reactant is basically it has been acting like a substrate while the other one it is acting it is basically the nucleophile. Among that one would be responsible for increasing the rate of a reaction and that's the reason that the rate of the that kind of reaction will be dependent on either on the substrate or either on the nucleophile. So that kind of reaction is basically known as unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction and that has been noted by SN1. And talking okay, about the next one that is And the next one is that is a bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. So it has been denoted by SN2. This indicates that uh, the reaction uh, or the rate of the reaction it will depend on that is not only the substrate but also the nucleophile. So therefore it depends on the nucleophile as well as it depends on the substrate. That's the reason the name is bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. So this is the thing that we have also that is related to the uh, bimolecular or unimolecular we have studied in the chapter chemical kinetics uh, and uh, this is what uh, it has been applicable here also. So therefore this is where uh, the nucleophilic substitution reaction and uh, talking about the more details that is what we are going to talk in the next lecture. So for now it is uh, well to understand that uh, this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction and their types. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you will get to know more about this uh, lecture. So please stay tuned with EKRA channel. Thank you so much.